Even harsher penalties for those selling fentanyl. This morning, Caddo and Bossier State Representative Stephen Jackson joins us on Zoom from the Capitol, Baton Rouge. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good, good morning. Yeah, I just want to start off. Uh, much of what the governor proposed in this crime special session is moving out of committee. Want to get your thoughts on that and what stuck out to you in the first few days? Well, yeah, I think it was no surprise that bills would move uh, out of committee. I mean, the Republicans do have a super majority, and I think, you know, uh, they have kind of uh, been, uh, the term we use down here is whipping votes, and so they've been kind of whipped in line uh, to uh, to support the governor's uh, call. And so, look, I think there are some things in the call that we do need to address, like uh, increasing the, the um the uh, minimum sentences or increasing the penalties for carjacking. Some of those things are out of control, uh, but I still think that there's a void in how do we avoid ever getting into these situations? How do we address the root causes of crime? So uh, again, I think we can hold uh, criminals accountable, but we need to be also talking about how do we prevent, how do we deal with the mental, emotional, and social issues uh, that cause crime? Yeah, so being proactive there. I want to talk about Correct. the uh, death penalty, and uh, it's it's always controversial when you bring it up uh, in the, in the legislature. Um, it's made it out of one committee and headed to the next committee. If it passes and this becomes um, an, an issue to bring back the death penalty, it's never been outlawed, but it would either right. be through the electric chair or nitrogen gas, which are both controversial. Uh, number right. one, the, the electric chair, like you said, the, the old one is in the museum or, or something like that. And so they'd have to make another one, I guess. I don't know who makes electric chairs. And number two, nitrogen gas, which has just recently been used in Alabama and uh, very controversial on the last uh, execution there less than two weeks ago, they said that the gentleman suffered uh, on on the table there. So where do we go with that? You know, it, 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 you know, I've never been a fan of government sponsored uh, executions or killings. Uh, I just don't believe in that. Uh, I think, you know, uh, we know that there's a lot of data that says that these things do not uh, deter folks from committing crimes. Um, and so uh, it's a very controversial issue. I was glad to see my colleague Alonzo Knox. Uh, he was able to get an amendment tacked on that would provide counseling and emotional support for the folks who were asking to uh, the government employees that were asking to carry out these killings uh, when we're doing these death penalties. So if this becomes law again, um, you know, there's going to be, I imagine there will be a lot of litigation about, behind this. Um, and so uh, we've been talking and, and we're trying to do our best to just, you know, build a record of, you know, what is the point of this? Why, you know, what is the need of it? Are we going to go pay money for somebody to start remaking uh, the electric chair? We're going to try to go to get old Sparky out of the museum to try some things. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that conversation mm -hmm. evolves. Another uh, interesting topic from yesterday was SB8. It's on the public defender's office. Basically, the governor wants to have a public defender czar over the whole statewide uh, program instead of having it in each parish. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, SBA has not come to the House yet. It's still in the Senate. Um, but I'll quote uh, one of the leading conservatives across the state, Royal Alexander from Shreveport, uh, placing the uh, public defender's office under the governor's office, uh, I think is a major conflict. It muddies the water. Uh, the government, the governor, the state, uh, you cannot be the judge, the jury, the prosecutor, uh, and the defender. Uh, mm. There has to be some separation. Uh, the governor's office could determine not to fund uh, the public defender's office. What I would like to see is, uh, I would like to see something that's set up where we uh, require the public we we re we require the public defender's office to be funded just as we require the, um, the district attorney's office be funded mm -hmm. by uh, parishes or by a local millage or something like that. So uh, I think we need to have equity in the public defender's office, Repre not politics. Representative Jackson, thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.